Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Rayyan Arab recording for the Daily Reminder. Are you stressed? You have so many worries. Um, did you lose a relative recently? Did you lose your job? Do you have financial issues? Do you need some help? Do you feel like you need a shoulder to cry on? Do you feel like you cannot smile and you feel like there's a big cloud on top of you and you're going through these difficulties and you're watching everybody smile and laugh and you wish that you could be in their position? If so, then guess what? There is a cure for you. This video is for you. This video is for you if you are going through those difficult times and you feel stressed and you feel that you want somebody to help you come out of those difficulties into ease. There is a cure. The same cure that the prophets used. The same cure that the righteous people used. The same cure that everybody will use who follows the correct path until the day of resurrection. And that is a tawakkul ala Allah. To rely on Allah, to rely completely on Allah, to submit everything to Allah Azza wa Jal, the Almighty. You don't care about what's going to happen. Why? Because you, you do care. You care about what's going to happen, but you submit it to Allah. So you're not really worried. You're not stressed. You're calm down. You're relaxed because you know that Allah Azza wa Jal wrote it for you. And when you knew that, you know that the decree, you knew that the outcome is going to be excellent. It's going to be the best. Why? Because Allah Azza wa Jal is your creator. who's the one who gave you this test and he wants to see if you're patient or not. Do you know Urwa ibn Zubair? Urwa ibn Zubair was a religious scholar. He was the grandchild of Abu Bakr al-Siddiq. Abu Bakr al-Siddiq was the best friend of the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu salam. Uh, Urwa ibn Zubair, one time he was invited to the Khalifa. He was invited from his city, from his town or from his village to the Khalifa's town, to the Khalifa's city or to the Khalifa's village. He had to travel walking him and his son. So as he was walking him and his son to the house of the Khalifa, the father Urwa got sick. He felt pains in his, in his legs and his feet and he told his son he probably cannot be able to walk. But then he relaxed for a few minutes and he got up and he was able to walk until he reached the Khalifa's house. When he reached there, he told the Khalifa that he was still in pains and, he, and he, the, the, the Khalifa insisted that he brings a doctor. The Khalifa brought a doctor and the doctor checked out Urwa's feet and he found out that one of his feet has to be cut off otherwise the disease is going to spread. There was a disease in his foot and it had to be cut off otherwise this disease is going to spread all over his body and he will die. So then Urwa ibn Zubair said, okay, you can cut off my feet, but on one condition. Do not give me alcohol. I'm not going to drink alcohol. The doctor said, no, you have to drink alcohol because if you don't drink alcohol, you're going to feel pains and you're, you'll probably die from the pains. So Urwa said, no, I'm not going to disobey Allah. You just do it when I'm praying, when I'm in the state of sujood. As I'm praying to Allah, then go ahead and cut off my foot. Otherwise, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave my foot in, until I die with my foot on me. So then, the doctor came to Urwa ibn Zubair as he was in the state of sujood. And he agreed, of course. He came to Urwa ibn Zubair and he cut off his foot as he was in the state of prostration to Allah. Urwa ibn Zubair passed out, you know, tremendous blood everywhere. And of course, he felt pain and he, he was left unconscious. He passed out. Now, as he was passed out, his son was out standing next to a horse. This horse suddenly kicks Umar, kicks uh, Urwa's son in the face. Urwa's son falls on the floor and dies. Two in one, two tests in one. He lost his foot and he lost his son. So then he woke up later on and the Khalifa came to him and he said, Adam Allah ajrak. May Allah reward you a tremendous reward. This is what we say when, to somebody when he loses a relative or a, an organ. So he said, Adam Allah ajrak. May Allah reward you a tremendous reward. Urwa said, Alhamdulillah, Allah gave me four limbs, two hands, two feet, and he took away from me one. Alhamdulillah, I still have three. Alhamdulillah. So then the Khalifa gave him the bad news and he said, your son also passed away. Adam Allah ajrak. May Allah reward you with a tremendous reward. Urwa ibn Zubair got sad a little bit. And then he said, Alhamdulillah, Allah gave me four children and he took away from me one and he kept with me three. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Attawakkul ala Allah. Give it to Allah, whatever it is, just give it to Allah. Don't think about it too much. Don't feel stressed, don't worry. Don't go through anxiety, panic attacks and all that. You don't need that. We're Muslims, we don't have that. We don't have that. We have tawakkul ala Allah. That is your medicine. That is your cure. If you, if you uh, always submit your issues and your situations to Allah, these difficulties to Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah will be with you and He will help you and He will get you out of them difficulties and bring you into ease. Jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.